Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at a pen I have reviewed a couple of times in different types of finishes, etc. But now this pen came out and I'm actually quite interested in this particular incarnation of the pen. The pen was sent to me by Joost Appelboom from Appelboom Pennen and today we're going to have a look at the Caveco Sport. But this is the Caveco Sport Steel. There's been the raw aluminum, there's all the plastic versions, there's the ice version, etc. But this is the steel, okay? Thanks Joost for sending me the pen. Uh, let's have a look at the pen. I'll cover the past the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sample. Okay, start at the very top of the pen, right there. The Caveco logo in three parts, which I've always liked. Very nice vintage looking logo. Of course, it's a faceted pen, as all the Caveco Sports are. This is a five euro optional accessory. Uh, this is the uh, brass clip. As you can see, it comes off. You can also get them in different colors, or you can just not get one. Uh, as you can see, Caveco, as you can see, Caveco steel. That's the cap, and then Caveco. Uh, sorry, then the, the the barrel right there. Nothing there at the end. The pen posts comfortably and that's a good thing because these are pocket pens so they are small I can just barely use it but it's to me it's uncomfortable to use that unposted cap unscrews simple mechanism threads there and the uh, section is sort of barrel shaped as an indentation there this one has a double broad steel nib but you can also get extra fine fine medium and broad Unscrews did not come with a converter. Caveco makes these interesting converters. They're not very efficient. They don't draw up a lot of ink, but you can also use a standard international cartridge. So, simple. And there you have it. An untreated steel. So it's a it's a fairly raw steel. It's it's untreated. It's it's not really brushed or anything as far as I can tell, but it looks interesting. You can see very fine lines in it. So I'm sure somehow it's it's milled in the uh, in the, the manufacturing process, but interesting looking pen, nice size and definitely nice weight. From the top of my head, I want to say something like 46 grams or something, which is definitely on the heavier side for such a small pen. Very interesting because the regular sport models are all plastic and are very very light, and that's not for everyone. They're very portable, which is cool. Those are pens you can easily put in a breast pocket or even a, a, a the. the pockets of your trousers, aka pants, uh, but uh, this is a more substantial model, which I really like. So the Sport, simple model, these modern versions uh, really rely on the, the uh, posting to, to be made into a, a nice pen, and I think it works well. So let's move into what I like about the pen, what do I not like about the pen. It's portable. Uh, it's not a very cheap pen. Uh, the the pen costs this particular version costs 95 euros, and the the, the cheap versions are 20 something. Um, so they are a lot more affordable. Um, but they are also plastic. Uh, I think this I can easily drop, and it will be fine. Another thing that I like about these metal things is that they're kind of meant to be scuffed a bit. So if you put them in a pocket, they get some scratches, they get some dings and dents. It all adds to the character. Uh, they really went for that with the raw aluminum pens, uh, which were really designed to, to get all scuffed up. I'm not sure how well this is designed to get scuffed up, but it's undoubtedly going to happen. And I think that kind of adds to the, the joy of the pen. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Okay, now... I like the weight and size, it's portable and yet it feels very solid in hand. I think in the, the EDC community this is a pen that will be really appreciated. Things I don't like so much. Well, you are now moving, they're, they're moving into materials that make these pens quite a bit more expensive. Uh, and um, that kind of takes the fun out of the pens for some people, they become a little less affordable. Um, I think there was something to be said for the price. It's, it's uh, I mean, it, it is a steel pen. I know it's nothing fancy. I know it's a steel nib. But I can see how these would be more expensive than the regular plastic pens. Um, it definitely feels very solidly made, very well rounded off. So it is a nicely made pen. Final thing I wanted to say was that this double broad nib is very pleasant. I have used other, especially the very broad Caveco nibs that were Hard to use, uh, very over polished and, and baby's bottom e, uh, so hard starting, uh, skipping. 
Uh, these pens are definitely less of an issue in that regard. Uh, at least this particular nib is very, very well tuned. So that's very nice too. That's pretty much all there's to it. Simple functional pens. Uh, I would like to see a really good cartridge converter that actually works. Uh, I've, I know they also have the other type now and I've also heard that there are some issues with those. Um, but of course you can always use cartridges if you really want to. That's the problem with a smaller size pen. Standard, card, uh, standard converters don't fit so you're kind of forced to use something like that and that's just the way it is. Okay, let's have a look at the pen. How it writes, that's what's coming up next. Uh, Yoast, uh, again, thanks a lot for lending me the pen. I appreciate it. Uh, writing is up next. Measurements of the pen, dimensions, as well as high resolution pictures will be on the website sbrebrown.com. And that's it. Hope this was useful so far, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Caveco Sport uh, steel with a double broad nib and the ink is KWZ aka Quasi I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it Berry the paper is Rhodia And it's a nice smooth nib that puts down a nice line of ink. Upon fast writing, I mean this is really fast writing, you see that the nib starts to suffer a bit and starts to skip more. Wetness, it's not a super dry nib so that's nice. Line variation, it's a fairly stiff steel nib. Can squeeze out a little bit, but don't forget it's also a double broad, so it's already quite a wide line. Okay, then you can do some reverse writing if you like, but it's not very smooth, and that's pretty much all there's to it. One thing I wanted to say, and I thought I could point out nicely here. What might hold some people back in using this is that you see that lines are just scratched into the pen there where it caps, uh, which is not really where the uh, cap ends when you when you post it, but I think that's also a spe especially at the bottom where the threads start to uh, hit the barrel. So that is something of wear and tear of a metal pen that you may or may not like, but something you may put into consideration. Okay, Yoast, thanks a lot for lending me the pen. I appreciate it, guys. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Bye.